Hello guys, welcome to Algorithm Made Easy. My name is Rajat and today we will be discussing the question Reverse Linked List. In this question we are given a head of a singly linked list and we need to reverse the list and return the reverse list. In this video we will discuss how we can solve this problem both recursively and iteratively. So let's first see the recursive approach. So here is the linked list given to us with 5 nodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what we need to do is to reverse a linked list with 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can see that the pointers are reversed in every of this node. So the head that we were given was at node 1. But what we need to return is at node 5. So this 5 now becomes our new head that we need to return for the reversed linked list. Now how we can solve that? We know that in a recursive approach we will first take this particular node in the rest of the linked list goes into a recursion. So this part becomes the recursion one and we'll keep on doing that till we reach a base condition. Now let's first focus our attention on this recursion four which is the last recursion that we have reached. Now if a single node is given to us it is nothing but a base case because a single node is itself a reversed linked list. So we need to directly return this particular node as the new hat. So we are done with the recursion 4 and now we will return back to from where it was called. It was called from node 4. So from this node 4 this was called. So we will return back. What this node 4 represent right now? This is the head for this particular linked list. So the head will be at this particular node 4 and what we need to do? We need to reverse this particular link between the node 4 to node 5. Now one more important thing over here. We cannot change the new head in any case because this is the head of the reverse linked list that we will be using. So Whatever we need to do the operations should be with respect to this particular head which will change according to the node on which we are on. So all the things or the operations will be relative to this particular head. Now what is the relationship that we need? The relationship that we need is represented by this yellow arrow from 5 to 4. Now let's see what the two arrows represent. This yellow arrow that we have is nothing but head dot next dot next because this is the head. The next node is 5 and its next pointer should now point to this whatever node it is. So this arrow is nothing but the next pointer of this 5 node which is the next of this particular head that we have. Now the existing relationship this orange arrow is nothing but head dot next. So we have these two relationships and what we need to do with these two relationships. We need to update the head dot next dot next to this particular head so that the relationship between the two nodes can be reversed. And now since we have the relationship between the two nodes reversed, we need not have this particular relationship because it will create a cycle if it is not deleted. So we will just mark head dot next to be null. Once we are done with this particular update, the linked list will look like this. Now this particular recursion R3 is done. So we move to node 3. The head is now pointing to node 3. We again do the same thing. Marking head dot next dot next equals to head and head dot next equals to null. We'll keep on doing that till the last recursion. And once we are at the last recursion, we will simply return this new head, which is the answer. It may look a bit confusing, but once you dry run it with pen and paper, it will make much more sense. Now, as always, I'll recommend you to code this particular approach by yourself. And if you face any issue, you can always come back to this video. We'll now start off with coding this particular approach and it might clarify your other doubts as well. So as we discussed that we need to have certain base cases, but we'll define them in the later part. We discussed that we'll have a new head 
which will be returned by recursively calling this reverse list method on head dot next. Now what we were doing, the operation that we were doing was making head dot next dot next to be pointing out to the head and the other operation was marking the head dot next to be null so that we do not have any cyclic calls. At the end we know that we need to return this new head because that is the answer that we were seeking. Now what is the base case? The base case that we have is if the head is null or the head dot next that means there is only one node in this linked list we need to directly return the head. In this case it will return directly null and in the next case it will return the head value. This is all the code that we need in order to solve this problem. So let's run the sample test cases. So it ran successfully. Let's submit this. So this code got submitted successfully. We know that the time complexity will be O of n because it will be n recursive calls and the space complexity is also O of n because of maintaining the recursion stack. Now let's head on to how we can solve this particular problem by an iterative approach. So we again start off with the same example the head is given at this node 1. Now let's focus our attention on the first three nodes. What we need to do? We need to reverse this particular link. That is all we need to do in this particular question. We need to reverse all the links that are given to us in the linked list. So if we take two pointers, one being previous and other is current, we need to just make the current node next pointer be pointing to the previous node and the previous dot next should point to the other previous nodes or if there is none then just simply pointing to null. So let's suppose if we update the current dot next to the previous directly. We achieved what we needed but let's look towards this particular node. This node 3 and all the nodes attached to this node are lost because we do not have any reference to reach these nodes. So this means we need to have a pointer pointing to this node so that we can move to those pointers once we are done with this previous and current. So now let's get back to the original position. We now have three pointers previous, current and next. What we really need pointing current dot next to previous. So we do that. Once we are done with this, we will remove this pointer previous dot next. So this is done. Now once these two operations are completed, all that we need is to move these pointers to their next position. Let's get back once more. So what we really did is we moved the previous pointer to the current position, the current pointer to the next position and the next since there will be a next pointer attached to this node, we'll just move it to the next position. That's how we shift all these pointer by one position. Now let's take another node into consideration. We again do the same thing. We update the current dot next to previous. Once we are done with it, we move the three pointers. Now have you seen one step that we missed over here? The step that we didn't do was marking previous dot next to null because since there was no previous dot next, we didn't do it. And this is the one step that we will see how we solved in coding. So we move to the next pointer we again update the current dot next to previous once it is done we again do this and move the pointer to the next step we'll do that till the current pointer is out of the picture which means till the current pointer is null we will keep on doing the same set of operations so the condition on which we need to run this loop is current should not be equals to null the operations that we are doing is we are updating current dot next to previous. So in all we do have a pseudo code with ourselves as to how we can solve this problem iteratively. Now we'll code this particular approach. Okay so this is the last code that we did. We'll reset that. We discussed that we need two nodes. So we'll take two nodes. One is previous. 
initially being null and the current which is the head now we know we need to loop till the current is not null over here we saw the problem that we need a next node to store the current dot next before updating the current dot next so we'll take that into a variable once we have that value all we need to do is update the current dot next to previous now with this current dot next equals to previous we have reversed the link because at the very start the previous is null so the first node will now point to null so we need not to do previous dot next equals to null explicitly it has been taken care of now all we need to do is move the pointer to their next point so the previous now becomes current current now become next and next is not needed to be updated because it is a local variable that we have created once we are done with this at the end we need to simply return the previous pointer and that is all let's run this code so it ran successfully let's submit this so it got submitted successfully the time complexity still remains o of n but the space complexity is now o of 1 because there is no recursion stack that needs to be maintained and hence iterative approach in this case is an optimization against a recursive approach so that's all for today's video i hope you like this video do let us know your thoughts queries and comments and if you have any question on which you want us to make a video on do comment that as well thanks for watching see you in the next one